The Italic languages are a subfamily of the Indo-European language family originally spoken by Italic peoples. They include the Romance languages derived from Latin, a number of extinct languages of the Italian peninsula, including Umbrian, Iscan, Faliscan, South Pison, and Latin itself. At present, Latin and its daughter Romance languages are the only surviving languages of the Italic language family. In the past various definitions of Italic have prevailed. This article uses the classification presented by the linguist list, Italic includes the Latin subgroup as well as the ancient Italic languages. Phonetic, as revealed by its inscriptions, shared some similarities with the Italic languages and is sometimes classified as Italic. However, since it also shares similarities with other Western Indo-European branches, some linguists prefer to consider it an independent Indo-European language. In the extreme view, Italic did not exist, but the different groups descended directly from Indo-European and converged because of geographic contiguity. This view stems in part from the difficulty in identifying a common Italic homeland in prehistory. In the intermediate view, the Italic languages are one of the 10 or 11 major subgroups of the Indo-European language family and might therefore have had an ancestor, common Italic or Proto-Italic, from which its daughter languages descend. Moreover, there are similarities between major groups, although how these similarities are to be interpreted is one of the major debatable issues in the historical linguistics of Indo-European. The linguist Culvert Watkins went so far as to suggest, among 10 major groups, a four-way division of East, West, North and South Indo-European. These he considered dialectical divisions within Proto-Indo-European which go back to a period long before the speakers arrived in their historical areas of attestation. This is not to be considered a nodular grouping. In other words, there was not necessarily any common West Indo-European serving as a node from which the subgroups branched but rather a hypothesized similarity between the dialects of Proto-Indo-European which developed into the recognized families. Origins The main debate concerning the origin of the Italic languages is the same as that which preoccupied Greek studies for the last half of the 20th century. The Indo-Europeanists for Greek had hypothesized that Greek originated outside Greece and was brought in by invaders. Analysis of the lexical items of Mycenae in Greek an early form of Greek, raised the issue of whether Greek had been formed within Greece from Indo-European elements brought in by migrants or invaders, mixed with elements of indigenous languages. The issue was settled in favor of the origin of Greek being that of a language which had both developed from all of these elements and then also taken its recognizable form all within Greece. A proto-Italic homeland outside Italy is just as elusive as the home of the hypothetical Greek-speaking invaders. No early form of Italic is available to match Mycenae in Greek. The Italic languages are first attested in writing from Umbrian and Faliscan inscriptions dating to the 7th century BC. The alphabets used are based on the Old Italic alphabet, which is itself based on the Greek alphabet. The Italic alphabets themselves show minor influence from the Etruscan and somewhat more from the ancient Greek alphabet. The intermediate phases between Italic and Indo-European are still in deficit, with no guarantee that they ever will be found. The question of whether Italic originated outside Italy or developed by assimilation of Indo-European and other elements within Italy, approximately on or within its current range there, remains. Silvestri says. Common Italic is certainly not to be seen as a prehistoric language that can largely be reconstructed but rather is a set of prehistoric and proto-historic processes of convergence. Backham defines Proto-Italic as a chronological stage without an independent development of its own, but extending over late PIE in the initial stages of Proto-Latin and Proto-Sibelic. Mises dates of 4000 BC to 1800 BC he describes as as good a guess as anyone's. Branches The Italic family has two known branches, latino faliscan including, Faliscan, which was spoken in the area around Faleria Vitiers north of the city of Rome and possibly Sardinia, Latin, which was spoken in west-central Italy. The Roman conquests eventually spread it throughout the peninsula and beyond in the Roman Empire. Romance languages, the descendants of Latin. Osco-Umbrian or Zarbelian including, Iscan, 
which was spoken in the south-central region of the Italian peninsula, Umbrian, which was spoken in the north-central region, Balsian, Martian, the language of the Marsi, South Pison, in east-central Italy, Sabine in Lazio and the central Apennines. Some other languages belong to the Italic branch, but are too little known to be further classified, Aiquian, spoken by the Aiqui just east of Rome, and Vestinian, spoken by the Vestini in northeast Italy. It is unknown whether the language spoken by the Sicils in Sicily was Italic or not. As Rome extended its political dominion over the whole of the Italian peninsula, Latin became dominant over the other Italic languages, which ceased to be spoken perhaps sometime in the first century AD. From Vulgar Latin the Romance languages emerged. It has also been proposed that the Lusitanian language belonged to the Italic family. Characteristics of Italic languages from the point of view of PIE the Italic languages are fairly conservative. In phonology, the Italic languages are centum languages, merging the palatals with the velars, thus latcenum with AK, but keeping this combines group separate from the labio velars. In morphology the Italic languages preserve six cases in the noun and adjective with traces of a seventh, but the dual of both the noun and verb has completely disappeared. From the position of both morphological innovations and uniquely shared lexical items, Italic shows the greatest similarities with Celtic and Germanic with some of the shared lexical correspondences also being found in Baltic and Slavic. See also, Italo-Celtic, language families and languages, Vestinian, Celtic languages. References Bibliography, Bacham, Gabra LCLM, The Latin Dialect of the Age of Feliscus. 150 Years of Scholarship, Part 1, Amsterdam, University of Amsterdam, ISBN 978-90-5629-562-2, Pilgrim, Ernst, Tongues of Italy, Prehistory and History, Cambridge, Harvard University Press, Rix, Helmut, Ausgliederung und Aufgliederung der Italischen Sprachen, in Bemesberger, Alfred. Benlemann, Theo. Languages in Prehistoric Europe, and Dogemanisch Bibliot 3, Heidelberg, Winter, pages 147 a Euro 172, ISBN 3, 8253, 1449-9, Silvestri, Domenico, The Italic Languages, in Ramat, Anna G. Acalone. Ramat, Paolo, The Indo-European Languages, Taylor and Francis Group. Pages 322 a Euro 344. Watkins, Calvert, Proto-Indo-European, Comparison and Reconstruction, in Ramat, Anna G. Acalone. Ramat, Paolo, The Indo-European Languages, Taylor and Francis Group, pages 25 a Euro 73. External links, TM Texts Italic A List of All Italic Texts in Tris Magistos. Michael Devon Etymological Dictionary of Latin and the Other Italic Languages pages 826, Leiden Indo-European Etymological Dictionaries Series, Brill Academic Publishers, Tree for Italic. Linguist List, Eastern Michigan University 2010. Retrieved April 4, 2010. A Glossary of Indo-European Linguistic Terms. Institut far one quarter ar Deutsche Sprache und Linguistik 2009. Retrieved September 16, 2009.